Hello, I'm Praveen Singh, Director of Business Development here at Qualcomm. And we're here at CES today to showcase a unique solution around vulnerable road users using CV2X technology developed here at Qualcomm. One of the key aspects of road safety is, is a huge amount of injuries and deaths that are happening to vulnerable road users or VRUs. CV2X technology encompasses many areas. There's vehicle to vehicle or V2V, there's vehicle to infrastructure, and then there's vehicle to everything else, bicycles, pedestrians, motorcycles, scooters, et cetera. And our most vulnerable, uh, which are these users, um, they don't have the protection of metal around them. And so they're, generally there's, there's a lot more deaths and injuries that happen to them. In fact, every 85 minutes there's a death in the United States to a vulnerable road user. And so we're looking at how do we address that and how do we solve that problem. And so one of the unique aspects that we have with our solution is looking at how do we protect these vulnerable road users and one of the things that we're doing is looking at two-wheeler applications. Uh, here at Spoke Safety, we're developing a unique solution that addresses a mobile user uh, to uh, address safety. And so that's what we're showing here. We're developing a 9150 and 2150 solutions. They're a startup, and uh, Reed, uh, Reed Siegety, who is their uh, CTO, is here to demonstrate um, their, their product. Well, thanks Vince and thanks Praveen. Uh, we couldn't be more excited. For the first time in human history, Spoke together with Qualcomm, have reimagined a form factor of a CV to X module such that cars now see bikes and bikes now see cars. Where we've been able to reimagine a form factor of what has classically been a very large onboard unit for automobiles into a form factor that is small enough and portable such that you can hide it under a water bottle on a bicycle, put it under a saddlebag, put it in a bento box, put it in the back of your jersey, or even slide it into your kid's backpack on the way to school. Addressing really the largest threat that cyclists and other vulnerable roadside users have is being seen by cars. According to NHTSA database, about 70% of the bicycle to vehicle uh, accidents where the motorist is interviewed after the event, they say that the reason for the accident was they just didn't see the bike. So the first thing that we've done is leveraged uh, the CV to X module um, that was formerly only thought to be applied to vehicles into a form factor that's suitable for vulnerable roadside users. The second thing that we've done to make this easy for automakers to engage with uh, Spoke is we've based all of this on the SAE standard basic safety messages. And those basic safety messages ironically address really two primary modes of cycling. One, which we call the urban or city environment. The other is the open road environment. In the urban and city environment, it's ironic that about the top five killers of cyclists happen at intersections. Right turn assist, left turn assist. The great news is, is those basic safety messages already exist today. So those basic safety messages, as you can see here playing in the video, uh, are what Spoke has enabled for, not only for the motorist to see, but also for the cyclist to see. So really there is nearly real time, or about 10 times per second, uh, communication between the motorist and the cyclist. Additionally, what we've done is layer on the 5G capability that allows for a richer connected experience between uh, the cyclist and bicycle OEMs and uh, their, let's say, clients, or they are otherwise non-connected relationships. As the bicycle industry traditionally has been very non-digital. So what we've really done is elevated the bicycle to the same level of pedigree as an automobile from a, a safety perspective. I'd say the last thing that I would want to mention to you is, is that while we know the future state is CVDX equipped vehicles with more and more automakers uh, uh, making announcements, People ask all the time, you know, how do you address the older vehicles? So we build what we call three categories of vehicles. The older car, which has no connectivity at all, but is still suitable for the road. The second level is what we call modem-based connectivity. There's hundreds of millions of vehicles running around with, with modems in them, 5G modems or a brought-in modem by way of your mobile phone. And the last is, of course, the holy grail, the CV to equip vehicle. So what we've done is, as a cyclist, you don't really care what the pedigree of the car is. You just don't want to get ran over. So what we've done is we have addressed through our camera systems and object detection, the ability to synthesize an image where we detect a vehicle 
confirm with either the second or first primary mode of communication, modem or CV to X, and confirm if that car has received an alert. If they've not, we take that image and we overlay the, the screen and provide an audio alert so that the cyclist is aware of the car, even though the car may not yet be aware of the cyclist. Then what we do is we leverage the modem base through a variety of uh, re retroactive over-the-air updates back in time through our APIs to allow vehicles that are on the road today to be able to, although latently, and we wouldn't call it safety, but we do call it contextual awareness, where you're aware as a motorist that there is a cyclist ahead. And then, of course, the last, the holy grail, which is all of the basic safety messages that give the real-time communication, which is the ultimate thing that most vulnerable roadside users have been looking for.